Hello and welcome back to the Vacuum Chamber channel. I've got a very interesting material today to test. It's called D3O. And it's very similar to a non-Newtonian fluid, except this is more like a gel rather than a fluid, um, like a viscoelastic polymer type. And it takes, I mean, it will settle into a flat shape, but it takes quite a while. Um, it's like a shear thickening type non-Newtonian fluid, so it acts like a gel until it receives an impact or a shear force, and then it stiffens up. Um, but I've noticed when I've been playing it on my desk, it takes several hours for it to retain a, or to settle down into a flat shape and for the air to come out of it. So I've kneaded this over several times to see if I, how much air I can capture in it. And so let's see what happens when we pull a vacuum on it and how much the air escapes. Definitely going to reach the top of the jar. Whoa, it keeps going. Almost looks like a nuclear explosion. Okay, that's basically a full vacuum. I'm going to close the valve. And it's going to start to settle. Gravity's going to take a little effect on it now. But yeah, definitely the air pockets didn't want to want to pop. They just wanted to expand the material. So let's reintroduce the air pressure. And see what happens. Here. That looks like kind of stuck to the wall. But yeah, definitely more foam like now. Um, let this sit and see how long it takes to return back to flat. I don't know if you can see on the sides there, that's how it normally is. It's, you know, no air in it, just like a like a solid type glass buddy. 